Oh. Just one of those audit peoples that's doing this for a YouTube thing. Yo. Bust it. Dude. Dude. Please leave. Uh, no. Because I'm practicing my Canadian Charter rights to film in public. Canadian Charter rights. Section 2, paragraph B, freedom of the press. How well do you know the Canadian Charter rights? Who give a shit about your rights? Are, are you detaining me? Yes, I am. For what crime? Because you're a for, for what crime? The privacy of everyone. Am I being detained? Yes. Yeah, you are. For what? Stunting. Public feeling is not against the law. So, so you detaining me for filming is not against the law. Bust it. Hey everybody, it's Canadian Rights Media. I'm here at the Medicine Hat Recovery Center. I'm here to see if the staff of Barry Healthcare Management and Security will respect my Canadian rights to film in public. Let's find out. All right, I actually stumbled upon this location when I was going to the Canada Post Distribution Center. Um, Calgary doesn't have, um, technically, a Burra Healthcare Services uh, recovery centers. Um, so I thought this was a very unique place. So I thought, oh, just stop for a second and uh, check it out. First, they have their security cameras, two of them right there. Right down the wall, there's another one. It's not a big building. coming in. I would say it's a really nice looking building. As I said, uh, Calgary and Edmonton where I visited, um, they don't have recovery uh, places. So this is a, a very unique uh, service. Oh, Madison Hat Police. Oh, I thought they went all black and white. Two employees. Is there a third? Oh, she told to go back in. <sighs> Another long walk. No, you do not grab my camera. So, how well do you know the Canadian Charter rights? Can I ask you why you're filming? How well do you know the Canadian Charter rights? I'm asking the question. Can you answer mine? Are you a smart you person? Have protective services and the police coming. Are you a smart person? Are you a smart person? I'm, I'm done talking to you. Yeah. Let's go inside. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bye, servant. No Canadian Charter Rights, filming in public. Now 
country, plus the police just drove by. I do want to tell everybody, uh, sorry for my little reaction there. I was actually, you know, going to be a little smart ass and say, well, are you a smart person? And then just explain, but no problem filming. I was actually getting ready to leave. I just, I thought this was like a me looking building. I, I, again, I mean, never seen a recovery center run by the very health services. Well, as I said, I, I was just walking by. I was heading to another location and just decided to <laughs> check out this place for like two minutes. Are we going to have the famous cam back? Are we going to have the famous cam back? Oh, no phone in your hand. <laughs> Oh, she saw garbage on the ground, so she came and picked it up. Well, I guess, should we do a walk around? Okay, so here's the back side of the recovery center. They do have volleyball court, little uh, sitting area. They have an outdoor exercise gym. But the one thing I noticed is they sure take care of the outside and the front area, but the back, the back needs some TLC. Uh, so coming back to the front, I do see someone in a uniform. Not too sure. Plus, looks like it's the mass and half police. <laughs> so he's now educating now. He's just pointing me out. He's like, he's out in public, you know. Filming, recording is perfectly fine out in a uh, public standpoint. So you just said, if he was on your property, then, then that's something different. So I, I definitely have to say, since I've really been uh, visiting Mass and Hat a couple of times, and I just heard maybe what we should do. Uh, it seems like it's just like just leave it alone. But what I was saying is, Mass and Hat police have been. Uh, Way more educated since I've been uh, coming and doing public filming trips here uh, versus the other locations I've been to. And uh, I have to give them credit for it. I mean, it's it's nice. It's, 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 um, it's eye opening. It's, I mean, we got to give credit where credit is due. And Madison Hat so far has been very professional. Of 
public selling. Yeah, he's just saying, yeah, he's out there in public. There's nothing we could do. Oh, here comes the the upper uh, services protection unit. So the upper the healthcare security. It's also just arriving. the Privacy Act and again FOIP is on the staff to protect that information it is not on the other side the other person so. all right so after some education please Ladies are now heading back in. The protection services is now talking with. Uh, oh, I th I thought they were gonna go away. Identify yourself. Identify yourself. My name is Gerald Boucher. I'm a community peace officer with Alberta Health Services. Name and badge number? Couple Dave Rissick. Who are you? Nice. And your name, sir, since we're getting through the pleasantries of the morning. Didn't give it. Didn't give it. Okay, fair enough. Just wanted to let you know that what you're doing is actually there are clients in there. It's a recovery center. And uh, what your activities are doing is preventing clients from going about their programs to Cover. Just wanted you to know that. So, with that in mind, the nursing staff has asked if you'd be kind enough to just stop doing what you're doing. So, they want to violate my Canadian Charter rights? No, no, they didn't say they want to violate your Canadian Charter rights. But for them to, just, but for them to say for me to stop recording no, in public. Stop. They're asking if you would do that so that their clients could continue with their well, recovery. Well, if they what didn't, com if, if they didn't come out and act and try to steal my camera, I, I would have been out of here. I can't speak to that. Yeah, well, they try and steal your camera? Yeah. They did. They're asking so. you to just stop recording so that the clients in there that are recovering from their personal issues can continue with their recovery. What you're doing is interfering with them. They're just asking you Tech to be kind of you. And you don't care about that. Your business. Oh, so you want to be a, a jackass, huh? You just turn around and walk away and not let me explain well, anything? You, if you would do that, if you would stop and you would and, and what I was trying to okay. explain to you, sir, mm -hmm. with your rudeness, was if they didn't come out, I was actually walking away. Oh, fair. This was a beautiful building. I stumbled upon it. I've never seen a recovery building, right? Okay. And I stopped to take some, some pictures and they came out. Not a problem then. So I stayed because they said that they, they were calling you guys. Okay, so now that you found out differently, and, and I'm not stopping you. All I'm saying is they asked that you stop videoing because it's interfering with the clients that are recovering. That's it. And if you want to do that, that's great. If not, just understand you're, you are personally causing them some grief. And that's your business. That's what you want to do. So. No, it's, well, it's not my business. My business is for me to do public filming. I'm not saying you can't public film it. What I'm saying is your actions are interfering with the recovery program of the individuals that are in there for treatment. That's all I'm saying. I'm free to go. I'm uh, I know I'm free to go. And, sir, uh, Constable, all I was going to say was thanks for being friendly and professional. I really ex no, I got holding. Okay. 
though, soon on. Yippee, I've been talking about what their favorite uh, Timbit flavor is. So as they're now all weaving, I'm going to call this a wrap. So what's your thoughts? Comment below, Failer Pass. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it. And if you haven't done so, why don't you uh, check me out on my Twitter account, my Facebook page, and a nice friendly way from Matt Constable, my TikTok. See you next time. Now I got the TLC song stuck in my head. Nice friend away from that peace officer. Recording the video of the building, and then he refused to stop recording the video. And he said, uh, "I don't want to leave." And even he told me that uh, I don't know the right of uh, the Canadian citizen, whatever.